Nonstop RC presents how to rebuild front and rear diffs in Slash 4x4. What you will need for this Traxxas silicone grease, can WD 40 for cleaning, and obviously your diff oil for your diffs. Then, right after this, you'll need your uh, tools for to undo the screws. Then, you need the diffs themselves. Let's jump right into it. As you can see, one diff has a bearing. If you have bearings on your diffs, you just use a screwdriver and pop it off. I only have one bearing because I don't need to take all of them off because every bearing comes off the same way if they are struggling. So for this, um, I only have one bearing. Also, if you look at this right here, it um, has four screws on it. So that's all you need to take off. But also, you see a little metal ring around it. You'll see it here in a minute. See how this one, this diff right here, has a black part where I'm pointing at, but uh, the one on the left does not. It has this metal ring. That is the leftover of a bearing that broke, so that does not affect anything. I will be eventually be taking that off, but for the video, it does not affect anything, so let's get right into it. Just uh, pull those four screws off. Use your uh, medium um, wrench. I don't exactly know the dynamics, but you'll just... Pop that right off here in just a minute, and that will just easily pop. That's it. There's no more to it. That four screws, and you're open. Okay, now you'll see this little ring. It's actually going to fall out. Yeah, it looks like it fell out, but this should come out really easily. But really, you just if it doesn't, you just hold it like that, and you just uh, tap on the top, and it will fall out. Unless it's rusted solid, which means you have a very bad diff. Then we'll get right into it. We'll pull this little plastic piece off, or actually, you'll push that, and the whole thing will fall out. Okay, so now you have your ring itself, your little uh, part that goes on the ring, and your seal, your rubber seal, and the middle differential parts right here. Anyways, right after this, you'll um, be cleaning it. Yes, you'll be putting it in this little cup, your little cup, all your parts in there. Now for this, I didn't put my bearing in there, but that's because I got new bearings. But if you have bearings and you're not getting new ones, put everything. Put your screws, your bearings, everything in that bucket right there to be cleaned. Because me personally, I don't need them to be clean because I just got new bearings. But you get your WD-40 can there, make sure it's full and spray it about halfway full. Or shake it around, you know, do what you need to do just to make sure everything's sprayed down inside of that. Anyways, once you get, you know, shake it all around, make sure every little part's covered in some sort of grease or WD-40 there. As I said, make sure all your bearings and all your screws are in there. Okay, let's get right on the next one. You know, you just pop the top off with the four screws. Pop the little gear out like that. Then you just uh, put that to the side. You know, pop this off. Slides off. Get the seal and pop that whole thing out. Now you get all these parts. I forgot to tell you to take that. See those blue rubber pieces? Take those off. I forgot to tell you to do that in the first one. Anyways... Yeah, and then you'll put everything back in there and spray it down some more. And uh, shake it around. Just make sure everything's good and soaked there and uh, clean. So that way you're able to... Everything's nice and shiny and uh, cleaned up. There's no dirt on there. That's the last thing you want is for dirt to be in there. It's not good. Shaking it around. Then you'll get here and you'll just uh, you'll clean it off. Once you get everything out, you just shine everything up and clean it. Now you're going to use your silicone oil or your silicone grease and your diff oil to rebuild it. Put two of those blue things back on there. You just stick it down through that hole right there. You know, the same way you took it apart, you're going to put it back together. You're going to put the diff down there. Make sure it spins around very good. Then you're going to get these two little little uh, annoying gears right here to take forever and you get the middle pin and you slide them on and uh, they're gonna go in the middle like they came out now uh, anyways 
think I showed it. I don't know if I did. You can't really see it, but if you remember how they slide out, there's this little section. I guess the camera didn't get it, but there's this little section where they slide in, and um, it makes it um, easy to put in. Not really too easy, but if you look, you're able to see it right there. Anyways, right now, I'm going to be getting the, looks like the silicone grease. Yes, I'm just going to, a light layer of silicone grease right where your rubber seal should be. Right around there. Then you make sure everything's nice and cleaned up. You get your rubber seal. You're going to put your rubber seal over top of it. Once you got your rubber seal over top of it, now you're looking pretty good. You're basically almost done. Now, what do you do? You get your, um, well, your whatever weight. I recommend you doing 50 on a slash by four if you're bashing your uh, diff oil here. You can buy this off a of line out of any hive shop. Anybody that sells RC cars should have that. And usually Traxxas does too. Anyways, you get everything, you spin it around, make sure everything's there. You get the other one of these and you put, um, actually on this one, you don't use um, rubber seals. You don't use the blue rubber seals. You just pip, put, pop the cap on that. And then you'll very quickly just uh, put the rubber seals I mean, no rubber seals. You have no rubber seals on that one. Okay, as I was saying, you put that gear um, right on top of the spur gear with no blue seal. Anyways, once you get all that together, you're going to uh, make sure everything's in there right. You're going to grab the actual case itself, make sure the diff oil is on there. I mean, the um, diff oil is in there and the grease is on it. Then you're going to get the four screws, tighten it up, and spin it around, make sure everything works. Then you're going to nice and easily um, shine it up, clean all that grease off of there, the leftover excess oil. This is the um, midpoint of the video. The whole um, other half of the video is on the other diff. So, if you realize how to build the first one and you're really confident about it, then you're good. If not, the second half of the video is um, for people who didn't quite get it. In this part of the video, we'll do over the same things. Like right now, I'm going to show you how I put one seal on it, and now I'm going to put the second one. You see how I did that? That is how it's the first one is supposed to go with two of the blue seals on that gear going in that black um the black casing right there it's gonna go right through the middle not um one on there and one on the other one like the other one was you slide that right through the middle there and then you got that in there that was the part i was missing other than that i'm going to keep the video silent so you can learn on your own sometimes um voiceovers can be distracting so anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, finish up the video. If you had uh, any questions, just put down in the comments below. And uh, if you guys didn't understand anything, uh, just watch the second part of the video.